Hi, welcome to my first lesson on my arrangement on Fly Me to the Moon. This is not a beginner's uh, piece. This is more designed for the classical guitarist who's been playing for a few years and is looking to, uh, to incorporate some jazz into, into the repertoire. I'm going to give some, uh, some pointers on how best to interpret jazz. And I'm going to be providing a, a link for the sheet music and also a link for the tablature. The reason for that is I'm not going to be talking a lot about fingerings. That's why I'm providing the tablature and the sheet music. I'm going to be talking about more of concepts that will help a classical guitarist that play a jazz standard like this one. Okay? I'm going to start with an A minor on the fifth fret, but I'm going to play it like here with an open, open A string. D minor, then a G7, then C major 7, then F7, F major 7, B minor 7, flat 5, and then E7. Okay, I'm going to talk a little bit about that again. I'm starting on the A minor 7 on the 5th fret, like this. But I'm playing it like this, grabbing the, some of the notes. Bass, the bass notes need to be on one and three on every down or on every downbeat. One, two, three, four. Okay? So A, A minor seven. Then the D is anticipated and the bass note is on the one. Then I'm playing that A bass note. Then G7 is the same as this G7. But I'm playing it here. Then I'm grabbing the bass note here, here, and then C minor, C major seven, sorry. And then I'm playing F major seven instead of this one here. I'm playing it here, grabbing the bass note again, and then E minor seven, and then I'm doing E minor seven, and then sorry, A minor seven. To the next part, starting with the D, D, D minor seven, but instead of doing it here, I'm doing it here. The same G seven than before. Then C major seven with a walking bass. Then then a a two five there. E minor seven. A seven flat five. Then another uh, D minor seven here. start on the, the second half of the song again with A minor. Here I'm doing a little walking bass line on B minor 7 flat 5. You can, you can look at the tablature or, uh, or if you can read the music you can look at the notes there too. Okay so I'll start again. A minor 7, D minor 7, then G, G7, C minor 7, Minor seven, major seven, sorry. Then A seven, then the second part again. Towards the end, G seven, and then you go out to the twelfth fret. You bring the harmonics up there. Walking bass line. That's a C seven here with the root here. Walking bass line, C7, then F6, that's the end of the song right there, just one time around, 32 bars, no solos or nothing, you know, again, this is an arrangement for an intermediate player. And one other thing that I wanted to point out, when you're going to kind of making your own arrangements and things, when the, the song ends, or even if you're accompanying, 
if the song ends on the tonic, you 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 shouldn't be playing an F, a major seven chord. So here the song ends on the on the on the C out, you know. So I'm playing a C six, and then I'm doing the count basic ending. Okay, and you can follow with the last chord like here. If you want to do that, that's not in the, in the tablature, the last chord. But anyway, I might provide uh, another lesson on the harmony of the song, but that's kind of how I play it. And uh, if you want to listen to it one more time, I have a, I have a video that I recorded, and I can uh, I can do it again here too, really slow. This is not an arrangement for a for a beginner player. There's there's some uh, there's some tricky stuff, you know, for a beginner. Obviously, not, I'm not explaining everything I'm doing, but it's just for a classical player that can read. And the tablature can further explain kind of the, what I'm going into. Important things in jazz that bass needs to be on the on the downbeat. You know, when you're anticipating chords, and then. Stuff like that, and also even when you're playing on two and four, you know, when you're doing when you're doing, you know, the bass needs to be on those downbeats. The chords can be with the bass or it can be anticipated as well. But the bass needs to be, you know, bass players, jazz bass players playing doom, 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 you know, they're walking the they're walking the bass as, as, as it's called. Okay, I'm gonna send this arrangement to a couple of my friends to see how quickly they can they can pick it up. All right, I'm gonna do more beginning arrangements for sure, but I wanted to start with this one. It's a beautiful piece. It's very popular, and also uh, it's a nice. It could be a nice song for a classical guitar player playing in a restaurant, things of that nature. Okay, thank you. Get back and be blessed. All right, blessings to everybody. Bye till the next video.